This demo covers the basic use of the Lab Center Auto Router. All versions of Proteus PCB design include the shape-based auto router. The router is launched from the Tools menu and you will be presented with this dialog form. The default settings allow fully automated routing of the layout. You can, however, change the behavior of the router by changing the values in the fields to match your requirements. However, we will use these default settings for this video. To start the router, we click the Begin Routing button. The router works by initially placing traces in the optimum position and then uses a conflict reduction algorithm in subsequent passes to achieve completion. The progress is shown on the status bar at the bottom and is updated on each consecutive pass. When the router has completed, we get an indication at the bottom that there are no CRC errors and no DRC errors, and we know that the board is now complete. In some situations, it may be necessary to remove all of the routes on the board. In this case, of course, it would be fairly straightforward, as the last operation we did was to route the board. We could simply use the back arrow to unroute it. However, if we were given this board, and it had already previously been routed and saved, that would not necessarily be an option. However, to remove the traces is a fairly simple process within Proteus. We simply click the trace icon, pull a box around the area where we want to remove the traces, and then press the delete button. Unfortunately, in this case, we've also removed the area now down here, which was our prototyping area. And that's not what we wanted to do. We would simply click the back arrow, and then make sure that the trace icon is selected, and then map out consecutive areas of the board to highlight the traces. The board is now fully unrouted and ready to be rerouted or to be reused for another project.